Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're filming one of my favorite videos to film my <laughs> my deck of panning update. Um, I feel like I just posted this video, but it's because I filmed the last update before I went on vacation in March and then I didn't have time to edit and upload it before I left, so it went up late. Um, because I'm actually filming this late again, <laughs> so yeah, and this, the timing of this is all messed up. I'm hoping I can catch up at some point, but I'm filming this on March 27th, and I don't know, maybe I'll get it up before the end of the month. Anyway, am I even not filming this correctly? Yeah, because the last video was February update, so this is the March update. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> so I already shuffled my cards. Um, I took out one of the Jokers because there's two Jokers in this deck and we only want one. Um, I didn't even say the deck of panning <laughs> is a project created by Emily from Emily and Max and she was inspired by Maddie from Books with Maddie and I always leave their channels below. I leave Emily's intro and how to video if you want to join in on the deck of panning and I leave a link to the game board if you want to follow along. So yeah, let's just get right into this. Um, I do have two items to roll out today. One of them, I didn't meet my goal, but uh, you'll see when we get to it. So the first thing, well, we're not even gonna get to, to the cards yet, so I can put those down. The first product, I'm not rolling this out because I only used it twice and I meant to use it 10 times. It's my Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette, the light version. It's looking like this. So I mentioned in my last video, I did use this. I had used it one time when I filmed that update and I said, look, I didn't, I wasn't really impressed with it. And I was disappointed because I thought I was gonna love this. Um, so I've only used it one more time and that was to use the highlighter. And I will say I did really like the highlighter. But yeah, I do want to get more use out of the eyeshadows and the blush, of course. So I do need to use it eight more times anyway, so that shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, it shouldn't be difficult to use this because it's a very like neutral <laughs> eyeshadow color story and the blush is not like to pink or you know it can go with many different looks even if I don't use the eyeshadows here so I don't mind using this eight more times I'm just hoping I like it more than I did when I used it the first time when I used everything in the palette yeah that's all I'll say about that one um, the next product is one I'm rolling out, and this is as predicted in my last update. I said this would probably be the product rolling out. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. I used it 11 times. My goal was to use it 10, and I've actually been really liking this. I do find there's like a learning curve <laughs> to this product. I can't set this concealer because it will look very crepey and dry under my eyes and I can't use too much of it but other than that I am really liking it and it's not creasing on me it's just like a really nice shade it helps to I mean I wouldn't say the coverage is like very full um, but it just helps to like kind of brighten and even out and like I've said in other videos, I don't have like dark circles. Um, like that's not my concern. So with concealer, I just want to like kind of cancel out any redness, basically. That's all I'm hoping it'll do. So it's working for me. And I have seen like there's some windowing. Um, but yeah, I've only used it 11 times. It was pretty much brand new when I rolled it into this project. So... Yeah, this will go back in my collection. The next product is a lipstick. It's the ABH 
matte lipstick in the shade Kiss. Um, I only need to use this six times. Oh, I have been forgetting to tell you the categories. So the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette was rolled in for the prompt this time last year because it was a product I bought at the time I filmed the intro, but last year, you know. <laughs> um, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer was for the prompt Affordable. This lipstick was for the prompt Random Uses. So I used my Pretty Random app and it rolled six, so I have to use this six times. I, I thought I would like just breeze through it, but I've been like, I have a lot of lip products in my shop my stash and in my um i'm doing like a chopping block series for lipsticks well not specifically just lipstick for all lip products so i've been trying to like rotate through a lot of things so i actually only use this twice <laughs> um but i do really like it i really like the color um that's what it's looking like it is a mini if i didn't say and the first time I used this, I was surprised because it looked very shiny and it's supposed to be a matte lipstick, but I think that's because I had just applied lip balm because the the last time I used this, it was very matte. So if you don't like put this on right after you put on the lip balm, it is a very matte formula, but I don't mind it. Um, it's not dry or anything, just like you could tell it's a matte formula. So I don't mind using this four more times. The next product is the second product I'm rolling out today. So it's my Bath & Body Works Frosted Coconut Snowball Fine Fragrance Mist. <laughs> um, this one, I just was overly ambitious, I guess because I didn't put a use goal on this, but I said I would, I wanted to use up half of what was left. So by those, um, going with that, I would have had to like, have used up probably before where it says Bath and Body Works. But if you can see, I've only, I'm up to here. <laughs> So I don't know how I thought I was gonna like get to this because this is not um, a fragrance I wear in the spring and summer, obviously. It's called Frosted Coconut Snowball and I'm very seasonal with my makeup and my fragrances and things. So I'm rolling this out not because I met my goal. I did use it 18 times. So, it's, and it's still up to there and this is old. And I pull it back out every winter. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so even though I didn't meet my goal, I'm rolling it out because I'm not going to be using this in the spring and summer. And I'm feeling very springtime. I have my pastels on <laughs> and my pastel nails. And I'm ready for spring scents. So this will go back in my collection. The next product is actually an eyeshadow palette. This was for the prompt Indie, and I chose a, Indie is short for independently owned, if you didn't know. So I chose this eyeshadow palette from Eloise. I am pretty sure it's an Indie brand, um, Eloise Beauty. And this is the Queen palette. When I rolled this in, I had never used it, and I got it in a boxy charm a while ago. So I've only used it twice. <laughs> I want to use it five times, and I'm not working on any shades in particular, just I need to use the palette five times. So I used, but I have used um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have used eight shades in just those two uses. So the first time I used it, I used this row of shadows, right? No, I used this one, this row. And today is the second time I'm wearing it, and I used this row. So um, I mentioned in my last video that I did like the look, but at the end of the day, I found like everything kind of 
like melted together so I'm kind of doing a test today I tried to put um, three different shimmers on the lid which were um, this lighter one this one and then this one and I'm gonna see at the end of the day if they all look like the same shadow this might be a palette that I declutter after the five uses I do like it it's just if it's going to do that, I know I have um, other eyeshadow palettes in my collection that are just kind of higher quality, I guess, and last longer and are more punchy, I suppose. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. I did forget to use my glitter glue like I said I was going to, so <laughs> we'll see. But I don't mind using this. Um, it's not like I'm hate using it or anything. I only have three more uses to go and there's still a lot of shades in here I'd like to use like this these three here specifically. It's a very like purple pink with a few blues um, but I'm liking it. It's just I don't need like I don't want to work on a whole eyeshadow look and at the end of the day it just looks like I put one eyeshadow on my lid you know so yeah that's the story with this one but staying in for three more uses and the last product I had is the one I rolled in last time the Maybelline cheek heat sheer gel cream blush in the shade coral ember um, I have a goal to use this ten times and I've used it three times so far but I am happy to say I do like this more than I thought I would because when I like um, swatch this on my hand it looks extremely sheer oh by the way this was for the prompt focus and because I want to focus on using up cream blushes that's why I rolled this in um, but what was I saying yeah when I swatch this it like blends away to nothing <laughs> on my hand but I've actually found a good way to use it. It's with this Sephora collection. Um, this is actually a foundation brush. It's the 47 but if you can see it has like a nice slant, slant? <laughs> and it's dense and this has been working really well for cream blushes that I want to show up more on the face because it doesn't like buff them out too much it really just kind of helps to like push them into the skin so that's how I've been using this one and I really like it actually so and it's a great shade for this time of year so I'm happy to use this seven more times and that was everything so we are rolling out two products so I will choose two more to replace them. Okay, so I pulled up the game board and like I said, I did already shuffle my cards. I'm just gonna um, split the deck like this. And I always just choose from the top. So, I'm scared. <laughs> Let's go. The first one is the Five of Hearts. Five of Hearts is metallic okay sounds like I'm <laughs> adding more eyeshadows to my project and the second one is the ten of diamonds I feel like I got this one recently ten of diamonds is indie again okay indie Okay, that's not difficult. I just have, sometimes I'm not sure which brands are indie or not and I have to look it up. So we'll think about that. But I will choose those products and I will come back to show you what I've chosen. Okay, I am back with my two products. Um, the first one, so for the prompt metallic, if you guys have seen my other videos, you might have known you might have saw that I always talk about these Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duos um, because I have five of them and they're getting dry 
and they don't have much use on them. So I figured this would be a good product to bring in to the project, at least to see if they even still work. So um, they are like a dual-ended product. This end is like a metallic, hence the prompt. Um, liquid shadow and then the other side is like a flaky glitter that you're meant to like put on top and I thought that this would be a fun color for this time of year it's like a lilac-y purpley kind of taupe <laughs> shade the shade is called Lottie and I guess I'll try and give you a swatch let's see how dry this is smells okay yeah it's pretty dry but it still works so that's the um, metallic side and then this side has like a spatula like a flat silicone spatula and you're meant to like top top the wow that that looks really pretty actually but the last time I used one of these, I, f um, I felt that it looked very textured on my lid, so we'll see if I like it. I will try and use it five times and decide whether I'm keeping it or not, but that looks really pretty in a swatch at least. The second product was for the brand Indie, and I thought about Odin's Eye, and... I thought about, well, I know I need to use more of my lip products, of course, and I pulled this one in, the Odin's Eye Ripe Papaya. This is a liquid lipstick. I don't know what exactly they call these. Oh, a matte lip stain, actually. And I remember really liking this. I don't know, like, it's not very seasonally <laughs> appropriate. Well, it could be. Um, it's like a burnt orange, and I remember really liking it when I tried it, so let's do, let's do five uses on this too. I normally do ten, but I just feel like this is not something I want to keep in the project very long because I don't know about this shade for like spring and summer looks, but I do want to use it. So five uses on this one too. And my battery's gonna die. So <laughs> so I think by next time, um, what will probably, oh, I don't know. I'm guessing the Eloise Beauty eyeshadow palette because I only have to use it three more times. So that will be like my push goal, if you will. And then these two five uses on those. Um, yeah, so that is it for my uh, March update to the Deck of Panning project. As always, if you're doing this project as well, let me know below. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!